Hi everybody, welcome in. My name's Amanda. This is The Connected Conduit. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me, putting up with me for the next half hour. This is a general message, so take the messages that resonate and leave the rest for someone else. It's timeless. Whenever you find it, you are meant to. And yeah, let's just see what spirit wants to bring through you guys. I'm an evidential psychic medium, by the way, and a healer and a conduit for the divine. Okay, I'm going to ring the bowl. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, you guys. So for some of you, I feel like this could, this could be somebody new, someone that you've just met or you're about to meet. For others of you, this is someone who you are in a no contact situation with, okay? So please just take it how it resonates. Whoever you intend for this reading to be about, this is going to be the person for you, okay? Spirit knows who's watching. The universe knows who's watching. Um, so here we go. But as always, use your discernment. Trust your intuition. Here we go. So before we jumped on, I was channeling out, you're simply the best. Mm-hmm. Better than all the rest. Tina Turner, you're the best. You you are the best. Somebody thinks you're the best. You the best. Okay. You have a secret admirer here. You do. Knight of Cups energy. They watch you closely, you guys. Very, very closely. Mm-hmm. They do. You can feel it. I know you feel it. I know you feel their energetic eyes on you. Okay. They've been keeping tabs. I'm not really sure, but that's what I just heard. Keeping tabs. Um, you inspire this person, okay? You, you inspire them. You do. Whatever you do, however you act, however you behave, it inspires them. You guys, I just noticed I split the deck on the Knight of Cups. After I just said you have an, an admirer, the Knight of Cups. And here he is. He or she. He or she. The Knight of Cups. You're simply the best. Wait till you see what's behind the Knight of Cups. The King or Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. This person loves you. They love you. You could be a water sign. They could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be. It's more so the agape love that's coming through here. This is heart-centered love, you guys. Right? There's the agape and there's the eros. There's the water love and the passion, fiery love of the eros, right? Nine of Pentacles, you are single. You're looking good. You're in the best form of your life. You're in the best shape of your life is what I'm hearing. So some of you could physically be in the best shape of your life. Going to the gym. <laughs> Eating healthy foods. Getting your beauty sleep. Raising your vibration. You're glowing. You're in a very, you're in a position where you don't need anybody. Maybe you'd like someone, but you don't need anybody. You planted these seeds. You tended to them. And you grew this on your own. You're very independent. You're self-sufficient. You're not codependent. You're very wise. Very wise. And this person loves that about you I feel that so strongly in my solar plexus they love your confidence they love the way you speak the way you move everything about you they love your hair just heard that they love your hair 
your skin, your scent, your body shape, um, what you stand for, what you live for. They love your truth. They love the fact that you know your truth, you speak your truth, and you live your truth. And it's very authentic. You take this person's breath away. I feel that this person is working through some blocks. And I feel that the main blocks for this person are like low self-worth, low self-esteem, low confidence, limitations is what I'm hearing. So this person puts limitations on themselves. Perhaps there's a mindset that they need to shift. That's all it takes. Shifting one thought, one mindset can transform your entire life. Right? This person, I'm also picking up that they could be quite shy. They may come across really confident, charismatic, and outgoing, but deep down inside, they've had to work at that. It doesn't really necessarily come naturally. It's something that they have to work up to. I think really deep down inside, they're quite a shy person and very sweet, very tender, very like they they get hurt easily and they don't show it. This is someone who has a lot of scars, emotional scars, but you wouldn't know it. They're very sensitive. They're very sensitive, but they're not weak. They're just very sensitive, okay? They're also very much tapped in to their spirituality, to their emotions. And they find you very enchanting. They find you very enchanting, very soothing, very healing. When I rang the bowl, you guys, when I rang the bowl, now, this message is not going to resonate with all of you and that's okay. It doesn't mean that this isn't your reading. It just means that this little snippet is going to be for someone else. I heard very clearly, will you marry me? Will you marry me? I heard that very clearly. Okay. I also heard a meeting of the minds and I channeled this out earlier this morning when I filmed for my Instagram channel a meeting of the minds you guys you guys have similar interests you're both very much heart centered people you operate from the heart and you want to be of service you're very kind generous and loving people and so when the two of you come together, it's going to be like amazing, an amazing vibration. You two coming together will heal the planet. This, this is a beautiful healing union, not only for you guys personally, but on a global scale. You're simply the best, better than all the rest. Better than anyone, anyone I've ever met. Ooh, I'm stuck on your heart. Come on, everyone. Here we go. I hang on every word you say. Oh, when it tears me apart. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Tarot karaoke. Mm -hmm. That's an original idea that I had about a year ago that I should... Maybe run with that. Tarot, karaoke. I don't know how that would work, but figure it out. Figure it out. Anyways, this person is losing their mind. So if, if this is a no contact situation, they're losing their mind. I'm feeling anxiety in my, in my solar plexus. <sighs> yep. It's tense in there. Okay. So you're the best. That's what you need to know. Honestly, you guys, this whole channeled message is just, it's going to show up in the cards here. So that's why I'm going to, I'm just going to, but this is how I work, right? This is how I work personally. I channel first and then I pull up, pull the energy 
and uh, it basically illustrates it in picture form. Someone's hanging on to you because you are their 10 of cups. I just saw 10, 11 on the timestamp. That's a one, one, one empress energy. Somebody loves your kind, nurturing energy. Three is the number of co-creation, collaboration, coming together, planning, building. Okay. So I just saw the three of wands. This is going to be expansive. Oh my God. Look what, look what I just split the deck on. The Empress. Just as we were talking about her. There you are. Or maybe this is your person. Take it how it resonates. There's the Nine of Swords. I knew it. I knew it. See, I was getting a lot of anxiety in my solar. And there it is. Nine of Swords. Anxiety. Stressing out. Sleepless nights. Worry. Fear. This person is worried that they messed up. I heard that very clearly. I just heard, oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. I feel sick. This person feels sick to their stomach about something. Oh, it's the way they treated you. The way that they handled this situation and their love for you. Their love for you is making them feel lovesick. You know, when you were in high school, Maybe you are still in high school. I hope not. <laughs> um, I hope that older people watch my videos because that's what it's kind of geared for. Anyways, um, 18 plus, right? 18 plus. Remember when you were in high school and you, you would have a crush on somebody and you would just get like the butterflies like crazy and you'd be so nervous. You'd almost feel like nauseated, right? You'd experience nausea. You'd be like lovesick. It's like that. This person feels young, <laughs> young at heart with this love. Okay. Oh my God, it's the Page of Cups. Just as I say this person feels young at heart, the Page of Cups comes out. That's literally what this means. This card means feeling youthful, jovial happy, playful, excited about love. This is also like a heartfelt um, communication, maybe an apology, something like this that is about to come through for you. This is a message. This person also is inspired by you. More water. Lots of water, lots of cups in this reading. Lots of love, agape love. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Wow. Eight of Swords. This keeps coming out. This keeps coming out for the collective, you guys. So this to me is the blocks that they have to work through. So remember how I was saying that it's a mindset? This person has some sort of a mindset that they need to change in order for this to move along as it should. So fear not, everybody goes through lessons along their journey. And this is part of the journey for your person. This is what they need to learn. This is what they're experiencing right here, right now. I'm hearing I need to get out of my head. I need to get out of my head. I need to get out of my own way. Okay, because this person is keeping themselves stuck with some sort of mindset here. Okay, you guys, it could be that they're just shy or they don't know how to approach you or they don't feel worthy. Whatever it is here, they've got to overcome this challenge and they will. The Eight of Swords is Minor Arcana. Okay, this person isn't really trapped. It's a self-imposed mental prison. And this person's going to wiggle free. I feel it. I just heard I'd do anything for you. And I feel like crying. I'd do anything for you. Wow. This person is loyal. Strength card, right? They are loyal. They love you. The lovers. The Seven of Swords came out. So this person 
has been avoiding something that they need to do. They've been avoiding their healing. They've been avoiding their ascension. Let's see what it is. What have they been avoiding? They've also been in karmic situations, you guys. That's what I just got. Your person could be in a karmic situation, in a karmic job, in a karmic family, in a karmic marriage, in a karmic connection, whatever it is. They're learning karmic lessons at this time. I apologize if you can hear the background noise, you guys. My kiddos are home. It's the weekend. Okay. What if they... Oh my God, they've been avoiding their feelings. They've been avoiding telling you how they feel. They've been keeping themselves stuck. They love you to pieces. They're melting is what I'm hearing. They're melting over you. But they're keeping themselves stuck. Knight of Cups. See? They're melting over you. They have a lot of strong emotions. They love you. They do. Here it is. I want to see the energy when this about this person and their healing like show us the progression of healing here we know this person right now is kind of struggling they're up in their head but what is the near potential outcome here for this person and their their healing and their growth <gasps> victory success the six of wands, you guys, this is awesome. They're going to have a victory over their struggles, over their battles, over this conflict. Hello, this is awesome. I just saw 1711 on the timestamp. Look at the sun. They're going to reveal their feelings to you. They just have to push past this block and they will. There's the proof. The proof is in the pudding. Okay. I'm telling you. So stay hopeful, stay positive. Brighter days ahead. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. They would do anything for you. They've got to put their heart on the line is kind of how I feel. They have to push themselves beyond their comfort zone. They're being encouraged to take some sort of risk. This is all contributing to their spiritual growth and their spiritual ascension. Okay. Ah, what wants to come out? Yeah, the chariot. This is going to move forward. This person is coming towards you. There will be movement here. The chariot is driven by the emperor. An emperor who is in control. An emperor who is focused, decisive, determined, and ready to choose and pick a direction and go for it, right? So, yeah, this emperor or empress is wanting to go after their Ten of Cups. That big, loud, weird noise is confirmation for you. Okay, that was like a really loud car muffler or something. And the chariot represents a car. Rum, rum, rum. This person's getting revved up, ready to go. Oh my gosh, I am on it today. Come on. Look at this. Not to toot my own horn, but come on. Knight of Wands. I said this person is revved up and ready to go, and we have the Knight of Wands coming out. That's literally what this card represents. Someone who's revved up, feeling passionate, fired up, courageous, confident, and goes after what they want. Yes, I'm cheering your person on. You've got this. Okay. This person, they're set on you, okay? They're set on you. Let's get some messages. Oh my God, you guys, I just split the deck on Marry Me. Is this reading not mind-blowing? 
is this reading not blowing your mind? <laughs> Come on. So I channeled out when I rang the bowl, will you marry me? And here it is on the split. Marry me? Some of you are getting a marriage proposal. Congratulations. If it's not marriage, then it's coming together. It's union. It's taking this connection to the next level. Oh my goodness, you guys. Sorry, I just need to collect myself. Just soak that in for a minute. <sighs> okay. Okay. I lay awake at night thinking of you. Yeah, and stressing over you. Stressing over your situation. I'm miserable without you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm miserable without you. And I'm going to tell you everything. Wow. I feel like crying. I'm, I'm close to tears. You guys, this energy that's coming through from the both of you. I actually feel your energy and your person's energy. And then I feel you both on your own. And then I feel it when you guys are together. It's intense. You guys have an intense energy. Next to you, they're nothing. So whatever situation your person was in, whether they were single or with someone, it doesn't matter. It's like whatever situation they're in, they're not happy. If they, you know, are in a job, they're unhappy in that relationship with that job. If they're with a person, they're unhappy or they, you know, I don't know if they are it's still in a relationship with someone, but if they are, it's like next to you, they're nothing. So you guys, my tummy's rumbling. I got to go eat something. <laughs> it's starting to go, gurgle, gurgle, feed me. Okay. That's a sign. Spirit just said that's a sign. It's um, your person is like hungry for you. Okay. And then I just saw 2222 on the timestamp. I want you so bad. I desire you in all ways. I just said your person is hungry for you. And there's the proof. Okay. And then we have I'm ready on the bottom. I'm ready to love you. I'm ready to hold you. I'm ready. I'm ready. They're ready. Okay? And behind this, behind I'm ready, you guys, look, 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 look. I watch you closely. I watch you closely. You guys, I channeled out before we began. They watch you closely. And there's the proof. You guys, okay? I just want you to know, like, what I speak, it's the truth. And there, there you have it. Okay? I watch you closely nonstop, especially your social media. I find you enchanting. There's the word enchanting. And I said earlier, they find you enchanting and soothing and healing. And then behind that, can I call you? Can we talk? I'm dying to see you. Page of Cups. Can we talk? And then behind that, a snake in the grass. Oh, how interesting because they've been dealing with some sort of karmic situation here. I feel like many of them, they are all, all of whoever I'm channeling for, I feel like they, they have removed themselves from a karmic situation. Some of them may have awoken, awakened to the truth of a karmic situation. And now they're taking steps to remove themselves from that situation or make changes, whatever it is. And again, it doesn't have to be with a person, you guys. It could be um, that they move far away from you. They're in a job that they hate. They're in a karmic family or something like this. Whatever it is, they were dealing with karmic people and they're, they're getting away. They're learning lessons, okay? A snake in the grass has been revealed to them. All right, you guys. Incoming message from... Incoming message 
or communication from someone. Oh my God, my tummy. I got to go. From someone with a love confession. A love confession. I just heard I have to know if you feel it too. I have to know if you feel it too. Okay. So I'm going to go feed myself. You guys go feed yourself too. Okay. I think I'm going to do eggs. Eggs. And a protein shake. I'm bulking up for the season, so I'm going to like add some creatine in there. <laughs> I really am, you guys. I've decided I'm going to bulk up. <laughs> you probably don't hear a lot of girls say that, but I'm like, I'm going to get some pipes this summer. I'm going to bulk up my biceps, beefy biceps. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. Okay, and subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you. Okay, and just know you're the best. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone they've ever met. They're stuck on your heart and they're about to tell ya. Okay? And for some of you, it's marriage. If that's what you want, it's coming for ya. Ooh, I just heard I'm coming for you. Ooh, okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, bye guys. Oop.